So this is a development that was put into play to house veterans that have been on the street. It's a 49 unit um, complex and it's going to house those that have been on our streets that have served this country, both men and women. From the county standpoint, I think the hardest part is getting the community to accept the fact that these, these type of housing um, developments are a benefit to the community because they hear the word homeless and they think that it's going to bring down the cost of the, the housing in their area. Anything could be farther from the truth. I would tell you that this project is one of the most beautiful projects I've seen and it gives people back their dignity and they want to be um, meaningful in the community. They want to be um, relevant in their life and I would say that they're better neighbors than the ones that are on the street right now not getting the services they need. The goal is to get them stabilized, get them the support they need, in this case for the veterans, get them the mental health, whatever, whatever the services they need, um, substance abuse services, but also give them job training so they can get jobs and because a lot of them don't want a handout, they just need help getting back on their feet and in my district I do want to build more of these and we are in fact working toward that. Um, right now in Pasadena we're working with um, a nonprofit to put together a housing um, uh, development that, that's going to have some county funds contributed to it. It's 49 today, and then we're going to do maybe 100 tomorrow. We're chipping away at it slowly but surely. So for those that say, well, 49, what's that going to do? We've got 70,000 people homeless on the street. One day at a time, one step at a time, we're going to make it happen.